everybody welcome back to my channel it's Andrea and today I have my August update for my 11 oldies and 11 favorites in 2021 projects which were created by Denise from Just Some Makeup Pans who as always I'll have linked down below as well as my playlist which I think I have a playlist but I don't know I don't have any empties or goals met so I'm going to try to like go through this as fast as possible I know I know it's me we're talking about this I don't I talk fast but I talk a lot so we're gonna here I go again. Okay, we're just gonna get right into it. Um, first, my Bath and Body Works Cherry Blossom Perfume. I only used this three times. I don't think I made a new mark last month, but I was able to make a new mark this month. I couldn't find my black Sharpie, so it's in it's in pink, so it's kind of hard to see, but it's like it's right underneath that line. I I really need to use this a little bit more, but I've been there's like a couple of perfume samples that I've been trying to really push through and get out of other projects so I haven't really been focusing on this one but I did go back and I counted up all my uses for all of the items that are still on this project because that's what I do for my other projects and I hadn't done it for this one yet so it took a while but I've actually used this 65 times this year so and when I do perfume I do two spritz so two spritzes no, like whether it's this or a body mist or the little samples, it's, I always do two spritzes. So really that's 130 sprays out of this bottle and that's where I started from. So that's how much 130 sprays gets you. That's a lot, like this will never end. So that's definitely gonna be sticking around for probably years to come in my collection. Next, I have my Wet n Wild Liquid Catsuit in the shade Berry Recognize. I've used this three more times the past month. I've actually used this a total of 30 times this year, which surprises me because I feel like I'm not, I just feel like I'm not using it, but I am trying to make more of an effort. Have I? I have already taken the stopper out. I took the stopper out a while ago. So like I said, I'm going to keep on keeping on and then at the end of the year, it's getting tossed. But I mean, I'm... Like I said, I took the stopper out, so there's not a lot of product left in here, but because it's a liquid lipstick, there's a lot of product left in here. Next, something I... Something I was hoping was going to be done, but I didn't think it would be, is my BH Cosmetics pressed powder. I did repress it, so this is how much is left after repressing it. I don't know like I'm just I'm not a great repressor and it uh I feel like it's even more oh, careful sweetie I feel like it's even more firmly pressed now so I you're bumping your head on the iron okay so I don't even think this will be done next month but it'll definitely be done before the end of the year before the end of the project which ends at the end of the year and you can go ahead and just you talking in your own little language but this one like i use this pretty much ex what are you doing yeah. do you want to come sit on my lap yeah yeah oh my goodness you're silly i use this to set my under eye and then like I've been using it to set around my nose and above my lip. So I used a 28, Maddie, Maddie, mama's trying to talk, honey. Can you, can you listen? Thank you. You can sing when I'm done. So I use it every single time I do my makeup. I've used it 28 times this past month since the start of the project. And I have to go back and look cause I'm not sure if I already had a little bit of pan when I started or if I hit pan like very soon after cause I've had this powder for a long time. I've used it 231 times since I brought it into the project. So it's, it was a very firmly pressed powder and it lasts for a really long time. I do not think that BH Cosmetics still actually makes those, but it lasted for a really long time. Oh, okay. Next are the two products left in my Revolution Ultra Contour Palette. I had the pink highlighter, which my original goal was to hit pan, and I did that after like 10 uses. 
Ten so then my second goal was to finish it, which that was laughable, but here we are right now. I used it four more times. So I've used it 55 times in the project, so that's not too bad. I'm, I, I'll just be happy if I can like clear this thin band away at the top by the end of the year. But the next, the last one still in this project from this palette is this third bronzer here. I used it six more times this last month. I've used it a total of 30 times since bringing it into the project. I'm, I mean, I can't even see any rings or anything, so I may be able to hit pan on it by the end of the year, but I'm not, I'm not holding my breath. The next thing is my Revolution Cream Shadow. This is in the shade Rebound. Again, my very lofty goal was to finish it. That's not going to happen. But I've used it three more times this past month. I am actually wearing it on like the inner half of my lid today. And I've, I've only used it a total of 16 times since bringing it into the project or, I mean, this isn't a rolling style project, so it's been in since the beginning, but I'm, I don't know why. I just, I, it's because I don't really gravitate towards the neutral looks that much, even though I really, really love this shadow, like, and it looks really nice. It paired with some of the, that's right, paired with like other shadows and other projects and like when I want to do a more neutral look it like it makes my eyes look really blue it's a beautiful color I just I just don't use it and I don't know why because I love it and then the last product still left in the oldies is my Revlon HD Gladiolus lipstick I was wearing that I was wearing this earlier but then I ate dinner and then I reapplied with a different lipstick and a different project although they look very similar but I did not make a new mark. This is still where it was last time, even though I used it four times. And I've actually used this 42 times since the beginning of the project. And I think that I equates think. to like not even I half of an inch think. worth of, like, look at that. 42 uses. Ignore the big blob because that's just from lipstick touching the page, but. Ice cream on spoons. Ice cream on spoons. <laughs> You're just silly. So those are all of my oldies. Like, honestly, I'm kind of, at this point, I'm kind of thinking that the BH Cosmetics. Yes, honey. I'm kind of thinking that the BH Cosmetics powder is the only thing left in the oldies portion of this project. Okay, honey. The oldies portion of this project that I'm may actually well I mean I will definitely finish it there's not that much left but I don't know that I'm gonna actually hit my goal on anything else but that's okay like yes it'd be nice to finish these things up or whatever but at the same time like like this cherry blossom perfume which I've literally had for probably like at least 15 years I've just by putting this in the project just because I haven't I'm not gonna finish it I've got more use on it in this last year than I have in the past 15 so I'm gonna take my wings where I can get them. Mama's trying to talk on me. Okay, so that brings us to the favorites portion. It's kind of, it's very hard to do this with a toddler on your lap. So I have my Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette, the shade Luscious. I hope you can see it because I can't see anything. I've used it four more times. I've only used it a total, I mean, there will be a picture. I've oh, I've used it a total of only 18 times this year. Like I'm, used, I'm wearing it on my lower lash line today. But again, this is a shade that I really love, but it's just more neutral and I just, I'm, I'm not drawn towards neutrals most of the time, so. That's why it doesn't have as much use, even though I love it. But it is what it is. I I did use it four times, and I think that's more than any other month. I did take a, like, I took a side picture, so 
I think it might be a little bit easier to see. There is a there's a bit of a valley going on in there. Next is my ColourPop and Disney villain Maleficent, That's Mistress of All Evil. Pop. That's ColourPop. That's right. Super Shock Highlighter. Uh, my goal on this, obviously, is to hit pan. I've used it three more times this month. I've actually used this a total of 49 times. So I don't know if this is because I've never hit pan on a Super Shock like in one of these formats. So I don't know if it's like the regular Super Shocks where it's got the little nipple in the middle, but it kind of looks like there's a raised area there. So I don't know if that's the pan or just like, I don't, I guess these can kind of get hard pan. I don't know. I'm, I mean, I'm wearing a pretty much everything that I'm wearing comes from one of these projects. So this is my highlighter that I'm wearing. And I, I really do love this a lot. Like I know, like I know too much Tash, too much Tosh. I know too much Tosh had this and she decluttered it because she thought it was too glittery, but I maybe I just don't apply it in the same way. Like I don't really see big chunks of glitter in it. I just think it looks really pretty. So there is that. 49 uses so far this year and we are, I have no clue how close we are to hitting pan. So then another lip product that did not move at all. My ColourPop Maleficent lipstick. I used it four more times. I've only used this one 29 times so far this year, but I was talking to Jaylon and she said, so I, oh, don't do that. I don't, um, I don't let mama say that. I don't really pay attention, but she said like matte lipsticks are a lot harder to actually like sh see progress on. And this is a matte lipstick. What? No, it's not. It's a cream. I don't know. I'm just terrible at wearing lipstick. But you can see where the villain, I don't know if you can see, I can't really. But when I started, I it was still pretty much looked brand new and like I've pretty much almost worn away the N in villain. So, I mean, I've made yes. some progress on it. You can see, again, I didn't, I wasn't able to make another mark, but I, I made some decent progress in those 29 uses. So definitely not gonna finish it, but. Again, more progress than it had before. Then for the blush that I'm wearing today, that comes from my Juvia's Place Saharan Blush Volume 2. I'm working on the shade Tau, which looks very bright, but as you can see, like it just, I'm doing a lot of this in the video. It, if you're careful with it, I think it looks really pretty. I, it's like a very unique shade in my collection. Again, I have progress picks and all that jazz, but it doesn't look, it barely looks touched. I've used it three more times this month. I've used it a total of 34 times this year. So that's a lot and it still barely looks used. Like I will never hit pan in that blush. Then I have the second of my two body washes, my Bath and Body Works Cotton Blossom Bye. Bye. Body Washes. This is where I am right now. The blue line is where I was last month. I use this 11, for? it's for when you take a shower to clean yourself and it smells good. I use it 11 more times. So I've used it a total of 18 times and I'm like halfway done. So down. you want to get down now? Okay. Can I have this back please? Where's the other one? On the floor. Oh, okay. So I'm, I'm about halfway done. I do want to get it out because it is it is more of a summery scent and even though for the most part I don't really care about that I have more like fall appropriate scents that I'm working on in my Fifty Shades of Purple project pan that I want to focus on more so I'm gonna really work to get this out but it'll still it'll still probably be two months because I just I cannot wear the same body wash every single day like I, I gotta mix it up a little bit so then okay I've got three more products the one thing the one that I thought was gonna be empty this month and it's not empty this month but I'm pretty sure it'll be empty next month is my Ulta Beauty eyeliner in blackout so this is what we are looking like right here okay honey no thank you 
it is getting it's getting difficult to sharpen but I can still sharpen it so it's not done yet but here it is this blue part is where the progress I made I've used it 17 times last month so I've I don't know I don't remember what I was doing but I did a lot more I think like warmer toned looks that I wanted to use brown liner with so when I do that I use my ColourPop brown I use my ColourPop creme gel liner in some brown shade I don't know what it is I use that in my tight line instead but I've used I've used this 144 times and I think it was brand new when I brought it in so these things are like eight bucks I really like them a lot I do have like a couple other black liners that I that are older than this that I want to get out of my collection once this is gone but I will definitely repurchase this then another item that I thought might be closer to being finished than it is but again I don't know if it's just my repressing skills or what this is my NYX high glass finishing powder <laughs> it is looking very well loved I've used this 27 more times in the past month for a total of 194 times and I did obviously repress it and I repressed it really weirdly like there's a huge hump like right here I don't know I I am not good at repressing things and I say this like every single time I have to show you something that I've repressed because it's a little embarrassing but there's still definitely a couple more months at least use on this it just you don't need a ton and some days I like a lot of it depends on my blush situation because a lot of times I use it to blend my blush and bronzer together a little bit or to tone down my blush if it's a little too bright hey buddy I'm gonna be done in just a minute okay but that is still going strong I this is not on Ulta's website anymore. I think it was still on NYX's website like when I looked after I did my update last month, but I haven't looked again, so I don't know. I don't know if they're discontinuing this or not, and I hope they're not because I really do like it, but that is the life cycle of a makeup product. You love something and then they discontinue it. And then finally, I have my Ulta Beauty baked bronzer that I had to repress because it was all broken. And I've used this four more times. I've used this a total of 48 times. This is the bronzer that I'm wearing today. I really, I really like this bronzer a lot. It's very pretty. The only con is they only have the one shade. So if you are like much darker than me, you're kind of SOL, which is not cool. But anyway, this is what it looks like. Again, I didn't do the, whoa, okay. I didn't do the best job repressing, so it's not even at all. Like most of that isn't usage wear. It's me repressing things very badly. But I don't remember, like when it was in its original packaging, I think my goal was like to finish it. What the hell was I thinking? I don't know. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to hit pan on this because again, I'm working on at least three other bronzers, maybe four, cause I can't remember. And I only wear one bronzer a day. So, well, technically two. Cause, okay, I'm working on four other bronzers, I think, because one is the cream bronzer, but that's like a, that's separate. That's not the same. So I only use one powder bronzer a day and I just, I don't know. For some reason, I always, I forget to use this one. So I need to use this more, but that was my not a ton of progress update. Next month, I'm pretty sure the only thing that's going to be finished is that eyeliner. But like I said, I'm making good progress on everything. As long as I, my goal is for the most part with my projects, because I'm doing so many and I'm painting so many things, like if I pick one or two things to focus on throughout everything that I'm painting at a time, and then I try to use everything else at least just once, like I will I will be happy with that because I am I am somebody who while I want to hit my goals I also I cannot I literally cannot wear the same like eye look and blush and stuff I can't wear that every single day like I am not one of those people I have to change it up so 
as long as I'm getting some use on stuff, even if the progress isn't super noticeable, like over a long period of time, there will be progress, just not this time. So thank you for putting up with my open window and all the cars driving by that they all seem to wait until when I'm filming a video to go down the street. And my daughter who really loves being in my videos apparently, and my son who makes lots of noise and just the chaos that is my life in general. So thank you for sticking around and watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please stay safe and sane and healthy and I will talk to you in the next one. Bye.